Hi, welcome to Tech Boss. In today's episode, let's discuss how you can make a 1500 watts inverter just with a handful of components. So the schematics as shown here. This is the PCMP sign and this is the 3D view of the overall project. So here you have your 12 volts and here you have your 220 volts or 230 or 240 volts or even 120 volts depending on the parameters of your transformer. So this is the TL494 pass with moderation IC and its biasing circuit. This is the input capacitor and here are the two MOSFETs paralleled for each half of the primary winding. So this is the power transformer side or instead you can only do this and just connect any other transformer on the terminals here. So this is the VCC and this is one half of the primary winding and the other half of the primary winding. So the circuit works as follows. So the 12 volts is from the battery and the input capacitor this stabilizes the input voltage and eliminates any noise when the transistors are switching. So the TL494 is a passive moderation and C voltage controlled outputs. So the output transistors, the pins are pin 8 and 9 for the corrector and emitters, as well as 11 and 10 for the corrector and emitter of the second transistor. So they are both configured to operate in push-pull mode by pulling up the output control pin 13 to 5 volts generated by pin 14. So you also need to disable the air amplifiers since you do not need any feedback or regression. This is done by putting down the non inverting terminals to ground and putting up the inverting terminals to 5 volts. You also connect the feedback pin 3 to pin 2 via 51 kilo ohms resistor and pull down the dead time control pin to ground to ensure minimum duty cycle, to ensure minimum dead time and maximum duty cycle of 97%. So connect the power pins 12 and 7 as shown respectively. So the current 3 meter resistors are L2 and L3, each rated at 2 watts and they are 170 ohms. You can also use any other resistor from 330 ohms to 1 kilo ohms. Since the frequency we are dealing with is not strange enough. So when the first B transistor is turned on and there is 12 volts at the emitter P9, so Q1 and Q3 will conduct and this will allow current to flow through the upper half primary winding and to ground. So when the second transistor turns on and the first one turns off, current will flow through the other two MOSFETs Q2 and Q4 through the other half of the primary winding. So this push-pull configuration is, ensures complete reset of the core after every oscillation and it is powerful enough to handle 1500 watts with the appropriate MOSFETs and you should mount them on proper sized heat sinks to dissipate the excess heat. So the MOSFET, they are IRF3205, they are very good end channel MOSFET, each can easily have 100 amperes and they have a tolerable drain source voltage of 50 volts, which is more than enough for this project, so they should work just fine. You also need guest source distance resistors R7 and R6 to ensure that none of the MOSFETs remain turned on when the respective driver circuit is not operating. So this will prevent any latch ups which can cause problems with the inverter. The frequency is determined by C2 and R1 and the parameters are shown 100 nanofarads and 100 kilo ohms. This will give you a frequency of about 50 hertz which is what most appliances need. If you want 60 hertz just tweak the parameters according to the formula shown here and you get your required frequency. So the transformer you should use one with an output of 1212 12 and an input of 240 volts then you set in backwards so as to invert 12 volts to 240 volts or you can make your own transformer by hacking a microwave oven transformer. Just ensure that the turns ratio are as per your desired output voltage. So the PCB is as shown here, nothing complicated. Here you have your high voltage output, here you have your input capacitor, 
IC for a MOSFET, for a transformer if you be using one for high frequency. And this is how the frame moving will look like. It's a very neat and compact circuit with just a handful of components, yes, powerful enough to generate 1500 watts. So that's all about this project. Don't forget to drop a like, comment below, share with your friends and on social media, and subscribe to my channel for more amazing tutorials and projects. I'll see you in the next episode and have a nice day.